What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Grounded 2 not launching or crash on startup access violation or Unreal UE Augusta crash on your PC for the Game Pass users and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about we need to launch the game from the game installation folder and we have to do a restart. So first we need to go over here, open your Steam account. Now from here right click and go to manage, go to browse local file. Now expand this up. Instead of launching the game from the Steam, we have to launch the game from here. Then after the game is successfully launched, you can just go back and also try restarting the PC and you have to check that might work. Next one is all about the step two is all about we need to rename or delete Augusta folder and we have to create a backup first. So to do so, just go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to users, go to your user admin or whatever your username, just get into that. Now go to app data, now go to local, now from here go to Augusta. So I have already renamed this, so this is not the way it was. So I renamed it, it was like the users who are watching this, you will be having a folder named Augusta. So the first one we have to create a backup so just go over here you have to create a backup so let me create a backup so i have already created a backup and once you create a backup you have to right click you have to try with the first one you have to rename it once you rename this one just go over here in the show more options rename go to old and you have to check if that is not working you have to right click and go for delete that is also fine you can delete it as well and you can say first try with renaming and check if that is not working you have to delete it then you have to close this and you have to check next step is all about we need to start gaming service to gaming service we have to go over here search for the services and click on the services now from here once you get into the service keep scrolling down and navigate to the gaming service so right click over here and you have to restart the gaming service just wait for a little bit of time and once it is done you have to check to the whether the game is working or not. Next one, we need to run gaming service repair tool. So just go over here, open a Google Chrome. Now over here in the Google Chrome, we have to search for gaming service repair tool and go to this one. Now from here, you have to wait for a little bit of time. Then you have to just go over here, click on the downloadable version, scroll down and click on the download gaming service repair tool. Now just wait for it. Then you have to launch it and you have to run it. Then just go for yes and you have to wait for a little bit of time you have to wait for a little bit of time then you just need to go over here make sure it is successfully completed and you have to check once it is successfully done you have to check with the game that might fix or you can run end gaming service.exe in the task manager so go over here in the task manager right click sorry minimize this Go to the task manager, navigate to the task manager from here. Now expand this, go to app history, sorry, not app history. Go to perform, not performance, go over here, sorry. Go to users, sorry, I think in details. Okay, go to details. Now from here, you have to wait for a bit of time. Now scroll down a little bit of time and you can see we have a folder named gaming services.exe. So right click over here and go for end task. Go to end process and wait for a little bit of time. Now the gaming service.exe will be popping up here. Now you can see it is popped up again. Now close this and go back to the Steam and now launch the game and that might work. Next step is all about we need to install Xbox Identity Provider from this particular link which I'll be providing in the video description. So go over here search for Xbox Identity Provider. So you can just go over here search for Xbox Identity Provider. Now get into this particular folder over here for the Xbox Gaming Service Repair Tool. Now from here we can just install. We have to install Xbox Identity Provider or if you don't have the link let me copy this particular link. I'll copy this sorry not this one let me paste it here and i'll press it now that's going to take you to the microsoft store now just wait for a bit of time that will take you to the microsoft store and in the microsoft store you have to 
So guys, just open the link which I'll be providing in the video description. That's going to take you to this. Now from here, you have to download the Xbox identity provided. So click on the download. So that's going to take you to this and go to the I open Microsoft store. Now from here, you have to install Xbox identity provider and you have to check. Now, once done with this one, you have to close this and you have to check or move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the gaming service. So first copy this particular command. Okay, first we need to copy this particular command. So let me copy this and go over here, minimize everything. Now let me go over here, search for PowerShell, run as administrator, go for yes and we have to paste it, press enter. Then go to this particular link. You have to copy this link, copy this one and you have to paste it, press enter. That's going to take you to the gaming service. For me, I have already installed the gaming service, but you have to install it back and you have to check. Next step is all about we need to disable the cross play. You can do it both in the game as well as in the settings. For the settings, the easiest way is just go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to users go to your username go to app data go to local go to augusta go to save it go to config go to win grts now get into the game user settings now from here if you scroll down you'll be able to find cross play over here you can see this is the cross play enable so if it is true you have to change into false true in the sense the cross play is enabled so you have to change into the false we have because we have to disable it so keep it type it false and go to the file and we have to save it now we have to close this and you have to check with the game next step is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the nvidia users go to this particular page select everything like geoforce rtx series everything should be selected according to your configuration now go to this particular link you have to click on this one that's going to take you to this particular page. Now from here you have to wait for a little bit of time and you have to download this version of the graphics card. Download this and you have to check. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, go to the graphics. Now go to 5000 series, go over here and to the submit. Now with for the Windows 11 with 64 bit edition, you have to download this one. And for the Windows 10 with 64 bit edition, you have to download this one. And also, if you go to the Microsoft Visual C++, you can also install this. I'll be providing a link in the description. Go to this one and you have to download this. And also go over here and also you can try installing this one and you have to check. Next step is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So to do so, just go over here, search for the graphics settings. Click on the graphics settings. Now we need to add the game. So just click on add a desktop app. Now go to this PC. Go to volume E, Steam library, Steam apps, common, grounded to, select the game, go to add. Once the game is added, just go to expand this, go to let Windows aside should be changed into high performance and we have to close this and we have to check. Next step is all about, we need to increase virtual memory, so view advanced system setting. Now we have to go over here, size, initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need to go over here, search for view, advanced system setting, click on this one. Now go to the advanced, go to the settings, go to advanced, go to change, make sure you uncheck this and select the local disk. Go to the custom size, initial size and the maximum size. So initial size should be here, that is calculator. So first type your RAM, that is 16 GB, multiplied with 1024, then multiplied with 1.5. That is bring you this particular value, copy this, and you have to paste it. Next one, 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3, that is 49152, copy this particular value and you have to paste it. Once done, just go over here, save everything and you have to move to the next step. Next step, try power saving mode. So to do so, just go over here, search for the control panel. Now in the control panel, navigate to power options. And over here, as you can see, I'm having various power plan. So you can set it to any of these. What I'm recommending is you can try either on the balanced one or you can try keeping it on high performance one. You can keep it any of these and you have to check. 
Step 12 is all about we need to perform a clean boot, unplug all the external devices such as hotas, wheels, pedals, disconnect additional control, joystick, everything. Once everything is disconnected, also make sure that you have to close overlay applications like Discord, Nvidia app, Nvidia Shadow Play, overlay, AMD overlay, set overclocking to default. Close all the overclocking applications like MSA Afterburner, Diva Tuner, close online storage apps such as OneDrive, Google Drive, etc. and remove the underworld. Now we need to verify and repair the game which I will be demonstrating you at the last of the video and we will move to the next one. Create a desktop shortcut and launch the game as an administrator <coughs> using desktop shortcut. So just go over here in the game, go to browse. Now we have to go to browse local file. Now just select the game right click and go to show more options. Create a shortcut. Now sorry, delete this. Now send it to desktop. Now a shortcut is created. As you can see, if you go over here, you can see a shortcut is created. Now right click on this one. Run it as an administrator and you have to check with the game. Next step, we need to repair or reset the game. That means if you're on the Xbox, which means for the Game Pass users, just go over here for the Xbox. Now search here, go to app settings. Now from here, we have to wait for a bit of time. Just click on the repair. And once the repair is successfully done, we need to go to the reset. Because this is actually for Game Pass users in the sense, it's actually for the users on the xbox so just click on the reset and go for reset now once reset is done you have to close this and you have to check with the game next one is all about we have to go over here now try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus which i already demonstrated you and we need to update the system BIOS, which is also not recommended. You can try if you are having the time or you can skip this part. There is nothing to worry on this. Now we need to delete the Microsoft local cache file. So go to C, go to local to C, go to U C and you go to the users. Now from here we have to find the user. Now from here go to, you have to go to username, app data, go to app data. Now from here go to local. Now from here we have to find local packages, scroll down and navigate to packages. Now we have various details here. So just copy paste this particular path. You can copy this, go over here and you have to search for this and press enter. Now we have, will be able to find it. So just get into this and we have local cache, right click on this one, go for the delete icon and you have to check. Make sure you need to log in with the same account in the both Xbox app and the Microsoft app. That is very important. So you might be if you're already trying to launch the game with the Xbox because I don't have the game right now on the Xbox. I'm having the game with the Steam. But if you are for the Xbox users, this is what you have to do. If you're already signed in, you have to sign out first, then sign in back. This time with the same credential that you signed in for the Xbox should be the same as it is for the Microsoft Store as well. Both should be same. There should not be any changes in the email and password, which means the credentials should be both same, which you logged in. And parallel, just go over here, search for settings. Now from here, navigate to the time and language, go to date and time. Make sure the time zone automatically is selected. Time automatically is selected and this is selected. Click on sync now. That is very important. Next step is all about we need to install all the updates in the Microsoft Store. So go to the store and if you find any kind of updates here, for example, if you are having any pending updates and all, just check for update. So whatever the update that you are having, you have to update everything. Once every update is successfully done, you have to check this and that's very important and you have to check. That might help you in most cases. So you have to do that as well. That is also very important. So as you can see, these apps are actually having the update. So let me pause this update. But if you're having this update, just update it. So afterwards, you have to check that might work in some cases. Next one, we need to update the windows. So just go over here, search for settings, click on the settings. Now from here, navigate windows update and just update the windows. After the windows is up to date, you have to close this and you have to check. Next one, run WS reset command. So just go over here, search for WS reset and click on this one so the new microsoft will be popping up 
Now friend here, once you logged in into the Microsoft, you can go to the Grounded if you are trying to play the game with the Microsoft Store. Just launch it with the Game Pass from here and you can check. Now you can also repair both the Xbox app and the Microsoft Store. Go over here, search for Xbox, click right click and go to App Settings. Now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to repair and reset. Both should be done which I very very recently I did. Similarly for the Microsoft Store, just search here for the Microsoft Store. So right click and go to app settings. Now from here wait for a little bit of time. Now scroll down and click on repair first and you have to wait for a bit of time. Once the repair is successfully done, you have to click on reset. So the Microsoft Store will be gone from the background. And it will be like a fresh start. You have to start the Microsoft Store once again. And once you click over here on the reset, it is gone. As you can see, the Microsoft Store is gone. Now you have to open the Microsoft once again. So just go over here, launch the store once again. Then you have to check. Next step is all about we need to run this particular command. So we have these details over here. Now go to this particular details and go to the PowerShell, you can just go over here, search for PowerShell. Now click on run as administrator and go for yes. Now we have to paste it, press enter. Like, like I said, it is going to take a lot of time because it's a lot of time consuming process, but even though it worked a lot, so you can try this. So what I do is it, is, it has to reach 100 percentage. So I'll skip this part and I'll wait for this to get completed. In the meantime, I'll demonstrate you what you have to do next. Now we need to start all these services, that is IP helper, all those things. So just go over here, search for services, click on the services. Now from here, first we have to scroll down and navigate to IP helper. First find IP helper, right click and go to the properties, go to automatic and make sure it is up and running. Next one, Xbox Live Oak Manager, scroll down over here at the bottom. Now go to Xbox Live Out Manager, right click and go to the properties, make sure it is automatic and running. Similarly, Xbox Accessory Management, go to the properties, automatic and running. Go to Xbox Live Game Sync, go to the properties, you have to change into automatic and go for apply, start it. Wait for it, then make sure it is running. Go to Xbox Live Networking Service, right click, automatic and running, go for OK. Then go to Windows Update, just go to the Windows Update. Right click and go to the properties and make sure it is automatic and running. Similarly, go over here for the Microsoft. Microsoft Store install service, right click and go to the properties. Make sure automatic and it is running. Go for OK and you have to check. Next one, uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive. That is also very important. So just go over here as you can see in my case on the Steam. The game is right now install it on manage if I go to sorry if I go to uninstall I have to uninstall it once the game is uninstalled just go over here click on this PC make sure the game is right now here I have to either try installing it on D or C and I have to check last step we need to verify the game file so right click and go to the properties go to the installer file and verify the game file but this is for the steam users but for the xbox users so if you're already having the game for example as you can see you might be having the game so just click on the three dot menu and click on manage go to files now you'll be having an option to verify the game file here or if you go to the minecraft launcher so right click and go to manage you'll be having the options to verify and repair just click on this one you have to do same as it is just click on verify and repair so this will take a bit of time and once it's successfully done you have to do the same for the grounded too then you have to check so these are the steps when it comes to how to fix, you know, you are having the trouble with the, uh, you know, the crashing, this particular error that is happening for many users for the grounded too. And I hope this quick video is helpful. That's it. Bye bye.